And then I'm also going to spread his legs a little bit. <laughs> One thing about Bella, she wanted to be in between that man's legs more than anything. Hello everybody, it is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be kicking off another tutorial for you all and it is on how to create poses involving multiple Sims. I recently released a video on how to create custom poses for The Sims 4. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I basically talked about how you create custom poses for one Sim, but today I'll be talking about how to do it for more than one Sim, multiple Sims. In this video, I will be making a pose for two Sims, but the same process works if you want to make a pose involving Involving more than two sims. So if you aren't familiar on how to make poses whatsoever, I would highly recommend checking out my first video regarding the topic. You can click right up above to go and watch it. Without further ado, let's start with our tutorial. You are going to need some programs in order to make these poses, obviously one of them being The Sims 4. You are also going to need Blender. I use Blender version 2.7. I'm sure you can make poses with other versions of Blender, but this is the version I've always used and I believe that if something ain't broke, don't fix it. You are going to need some type of pose inspiration. Today I will be making a pose based off of Twilight. Yes, I had to. This photo shoot of Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson lives in my mind rent free. It makes my bisexualness go crazy. I love this photo shoot and I've never seen any poses inspired by this photo shoot. So I'm going to be doing one based off of this photo today. You are going to need the rigs necessary for these poses. I will show you how to export them in this video shortly. You're going to need the latest version of Sims 4 Studio. You are also going to need a few mods for the Sims 4. You're going to need Teleport Any Sim by Scumbum and you're going to need the pose player mod by Andrew Studio or you can also use Wicked Whims. I forgot to mention that in the last video, but Wicked Whims also has its own pose player feature. So if you're having problems with pose player or you don't have it downloaded, but you have Wicked Whims, you could use Wicked Whims instead. But I use personally most of the time pose player. Since we have everything we need, let's go ahead and hop into Sims 4 Studio so we can export these rigs. Here we are in Sims 4 Studio. You're gonna go over here to the upper left corner where it says animation and make sure clip pack is selected. After you click on animation your file explorer will pop up and i'm gonna name the file solita sims twilight pose i didn't do this in the last tutorial but i'm actually going to use this file later when we are finished with our pose and import them back into sims 4 studio so we can put them in the game go ahead and click save and then this is going to pop up we're not going to worry about any of this right now what we're going to do is go up to here where it says clips and then right down below it's going to say export rig adult female blank clip so think about the pose you're making think about who it's involving if it's involved adults, teenagers, children, infants, etc. I'm going to be using an adult female and an adult male for this pose, but you might be doing something different. You might involve an adult female and a child or maybe multiple children and an infant. You're going to download whatever rig you need for your pose. I'm going to export the adult female and adult male rig. So I'm going to make sure adult female is selected, blank clip, and then I'm going to press export. I'm going to name this one what it is, an adult female rig. It's going to export the animation over here and then your file explorer will pop up again and that same exact rig you just exported will be there. Now I'm gonna need the adult male. So I'm gonna go right here, find adult male. It's right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I will also save this one as adult male rig. And there it is, adult male rig. Perfect, now since I have my rigs, I can exit out of Sims 4 Studio and head on into Blender. Here we are in Blender 2.7. We have a clean slate to start with. We're gonna go over here to where it says file and then go where it says open. Find wherever it is that you see saved your rig and go ahead and select one of them. I'm just going to select female because females first. And here is our first rig. Now we have to go ahead and import our next rig and it's not going to require these same steps as our first rig. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to where it says file. Then we're going to go all the way down here to where it says append and click append. Now we're going to be back in the same area where our rigs were saved. We're going to click on adult male and then all of this is going to pop up and you're going to be like, what is this? You're going to click right here where it says object and now you're going to have all these files pop up, but you're not going to want to save every single file. You are going to select shift on your keyboard and you are going to click only these files necessary. Bottom, bottom two, bottom two, three, feet, head, head two, rig, teeth, top. So at the end of this, you should have nine files that are highlighted. Go over to here where it says link append from library and there is your male rig. They are going to be inside each other, <laughs> but that is fine. That's great. Let's go ahead and move them away from each other. You may notice that your male rig is highlighted in yellow or orange. In order to get rid of that, we're going to go down here to where it says object mode. It is not supposed to be in object mode. It is supposed to be in pose mode. That's just naturally going to happen when you append a new rig. Press on object mode and click pose mode. 
out and now it's going to look like it's supposed to these black dotted lines scattered throughout the body go down here between the rig's crotch this one controls the entire rig and we're just going to move it away oh we moved the female one but that's fine i can do the same for the male one and now since they're separated it'll be much easier for us to start making our pose like i said in my previous video there's really no specific way to show you how to make a pose for your sim it has to do with a lot of trial and error trying new things undoing new things etc this pose in particular is probably going to be a little bit challenging for me because it involves both of them being on the ground and that is somewhat difficult for me but i will try my very best and i will show you exactly how i do that so the first thing i want to do is i want to actually get both of the rigs on the ground edward in this pose or robert in this pose is sitting almost at like a 90 degree angle when Kristen is kind of more laying against robert so i think i'm gonna start with our male rig over here first so what i'm gonna do i think is i'm gonna curve his legs down here are very important settings these are the transformation manipulators i went over them in my last video but i will briefly go over them again this one and this one this pointed one and this curved one are the only ones i'm going to be using this pointed one moves your rigs body like so and this curved one rotates your rigs body like so the point down here in between the rigs crotch area if you right click it and you use the arrow transformation manipulator or the rotational one controls the entire rig <laughs> So you can rotate it like so, you can move it side to side like so, and in order to undo everything I just did, you just have to select Control Z on your keyboard and it'll move them back to how they were before. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out, and if you hold down the scroll wheel and shift on your keyboard at the same time, you can move around like so. Zoom in, move around up and down, left to right, side to side. So yes, let's get on with Edward's pose. I'm gonna press the curved manipulator and I'm just gonna cur Ooh, nope i'm not gonna do that i'm going to curve his legs like this and then i'm going to press the one in between his crotch and i'm going to move him downwards so that he looks like he's sitting make sure not to put any of the rigs body too far down below these red and green lines or else when you put these poses in game your sims's body will clip through the floor so i'm just going to move them up a bit like i said it's a lot of perfecting it's a lot of trial and error i'm gonna move it back to the center and i'm gonna rotate him all around in this photo, he's leaned back a little bit. So now I'm going to press one of these lower body points and I'm going to curve his body back a bit so he looks more lounged and relaxed. He also has his arms against the floor. So now I'm going to work on the arms. I'm just going to rotate them back, rotate them outwards. And now I get to work on the hands over here. So I'm going to rotate the hands again, trying not to go too far below these lines. I can always adjust it later though. And though you can't see it in the photo i'm assuming his other arm is doing the same exact thing so i'm just gonna do what i did on his left arm and then i'm also going to spread his legs a little bit <laughs> just so there's room for the female rig. And I think that looks decent for now. I got the basics down. So now it's time to work on Kristen's pose with our female rig over here. She is lying down. So I think I'm gonna make this pose in the air because I feel like this is gonna be a little bit easier so i'm gonna get both of her legs up I'm gonna rotate her back down just like i did with roberts maybe rotate the legs a little less and instead rotate her entire body click on this one between the crotch bring her down and now i'm gonna try to get her in between edward's legs i might have to spread his legs a little bit more <laughs> one thing about bella she wanted to be in between that man's legs more than anything anyways so yeah i'm just gonna keep perfecting Perfecting it till I have it just the way I want it. And for now, that's good, I guess. <laughs> we still have a lot of work to do, so I'm not I'm not worried. But what I am worried about is Blender crashing. Blender tends to crash at the weirdest times, the most inconvenient times. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how to save both of these rigs, okay? In the last video, we were just using one rig, so I only had to show you how to save for one pose, but now I'm gonna show you how to save for both. So we are going to select one of our rigs. Since the female one is selected, I'm just gonna use 
her, we're going to click A on our keyboard probably twice until all of the points on her body are highlighted blue. That means every single point of her is selected, not just one. Once that's done, we can click I on our keyboard and we press lock rot. Do not forget this step. If you do not press lock rot before you save your rig, it is not going to appear how it's supposed to in game. It's going to appear like how it was before T pose. So this is essential. Do not forget lock rot. And now over here, you can see that all of her points have been saved. Once that's done, I can go over here to the male rig and do the same thing. I'm going to click a random point on his body, click A on my keyboard twice, I lock rot and save. So now both of them are the way they should. And to finalize that, we go over here to where it says file, press save as, I'm pressing save as because I want to save the previous two rigs that we exported from Sims 4 Studio. So I don't have to go back into Sims 4 Studio and repeat the whole process when I decide to make another pose. And I'm going to save this one as Twilight Poses. Go over to the top right corner, press save as a blender file, and we're good to go. And now I'm gonna continue on with making the rest of this pose. And I will let you know if I have any more tips and tricks along the way. All right, I have completed my pose. The process for saving two poses is a bit different from saving just one pose. So let me show you how to do that. Select one of your rigs. Let's maybe do the female rig first. Over here, we have the dope sheet summary. This has all of the body parts of your rigs. We are going to make sure everything is selected. You just have to have your cursor over in this area and click A on your keyboard until everything is highlighted like so. And then you are just going to press delete on your keyboard, delete keyframes, and all of this is going to disappear. Now select one of your rigs. My male rig is already selected. So I'm going to go down here to where it says pose mode and I'm going to change it to object mode. While he's in object mode, I'm going to head over to my female rig and select her and I'm going to do the same exact lock rot process. A on my keyboard until all the points are highlighted blue. Press I on my keyboard and then press lock rot. So everything on the dope sheet summary will appear once again, but it's only selected for the female rig now. Once that's done, go over to the top left, press file, and then press save as. We are going to save this individual female pose by itself. So I'm just going to name this one Twilight Female. Twilight Female dot blend. And you can go over and save it as a blender file. Great. Now, since that's done, we are going to go back to the dope sheet summary and once again, delete all the keyframes by pressing delete on your keyboard. And now we're going to put the female rig that we just saved into object mode. We're going to go back to the male rig and we are going to select him once again, change him from object mode back into pose mode. Do the same exact process, lock rot him. This will fill up once again, and now we are going to save him as an individual pose. So file, save as, and then this one, maybe I'll just name it Twilight Male, and then we are good to save once again. Fantastic. So now since we are done with that, we can hop back into Sims 4 Studio and finally get on with making a package file for these poses. Here we are back in Sims 4 Studio. I'm going to open up that same file we made earlier, the Twilight Pose package file, the one we were getting our rigs from. I'm going to open that one up. It should be on the right side of Sims 4 Studio when you first open it. And now I get to name this clip pack whatever I want. I'm going to name it exactly what the file's name is. So Lita Sims in brackets, Twilight Pose. Now we're going to go over here to the upper left where it says clips and I'm going to now import those poses we just made. First, I'm going to do the female pose. So make sure this is again selected as rig, adult female, blank clip. And now we're going to press import instead of export. Your file explorer will pop up once again. And now we are going to import the finished pose that we just created for the female, twilight female. And there it is, twilight female blend. Now it's time to give it a name. I'm just going to name it female. Now it's time to add in our male pose. We're going to go over here to the right where it says add and now a second clip pack will be added. Now I'm going to name this one male and down below it's going to say rig adult female blank clip again. I'm going to change this to adult male. Now we're going to go ahead and import that male pose that I saved, the twilight male pose, and there it is. And now we are done. We go down here to the lower right corner, press save. Your package has been saved. Congratulations. Now find the folder where you just saved that post pack. I saved it under a folder called twilight post tutorial on my desktop. Here it is, Solita Sims twilight pose. And now put it somewhere in your mods folder, wherever you want to be. I have it in my Solita Sims folder. It's where I have all of my personal poses, CC all that and drag that 
that in there and there it is now since that's in our mods folder we are ready to open up the sims 4 and finally see our pose in game all right here i am back in the sims 4 i got my teleporter ready and of course since we are doing a twilight pose i had to get edward and bella swan inspired sims these sims are from the gallery i'll leave the creator's name on the screen i did give them little makeovers of course something that was inspired by the photo shoot that the poses were inspired from great so now we just have to teleport them over here head over into pose player and find my pose so lita sims twilight pose i'm gonna select the male pose for edward as he is the male and select the female pose for bella as she is the female press play and oh <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. That's adorable. Obviously, there's a little bit of tweaking I want to do with the facial expressions, just a little bit. I think I'm going to bring Edward's eyes down a bit. I think Bella looks pretty good, though. Their bodies aren't clipping through the floor whatsoever. Whoa, okay, maybe his thumb a bit. That's fine. I can go back and edit it. You can go back and edit your pose. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to teach you something about posing more than one sim. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And of course, I will be really releasing this pose to the public as well. It is available right now on my Patreon for free. By the time you're seeing this video, it will be tweaked and edited to perfection just the way I want it. Join my Patreon as a free member and download it from there. And let me know down below in the comments of this video if you guys have any more questions, concerns, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.